Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick reaction to the Arizona Coyotes draft. As I thought they had an interesting draft, I love the selection of Logan Cooley. Yes, Shane Wright fell. They would have had a chance to pick him over the Kraken, but they picked their man, the top American prospect. He's going to be a two-way wizard. His hockey IQ is immense. And um, some people don't think he's the better pick. I honestly think Cooley might be the more dynamic player in the end. Wright might just be the more... Selkie winning player in the end, if that makes sense. Um, and I think he's going to be the most dynamic player in the draft, Logan Cooley. So I give that pick an A, in my opinion. Geeky, I like as a player. I don't like them trading up for a guy that's big as knock developing into this game, where if you look at a cutter Gauthier that the Flyers picked, or you also Koski, who are the bigger skaters in the draft, that got picked. They got skating with them. This guy is a great playmaker, kind of geeky. Uh, he has a good playmaking style. He's a decent, accurate shot. But his skating is not close to par yet. And he needs to build that up. And it's going to be interesting. That's why I give that pick a C plus, maybe a B minus range. Because I like the player, but I like the player more like the 20th pick to 25. Because in a game that's developing quicker pace more and more over time. Yes, you still want to have big boys, but you kind of have to have quicker big boys, not the next Zach Cassians. Connor Geeky needs to develop his skating. Now, Maverick Lemieux, or Lamareu, I always mispronounce his name, the big-ass defenseman that has size. I watched a bunch of tapes of uh, him that I was able to find, and uh, he looks like a beast on the ice. He looks like he's raw and has a lot he has to work on to refine his game a little bit other than the fact that he already has a great reach he already has solid passing ability but he needs to kind of refine his game to find tool things in terms of positioning to probably be more effective in the north american game um at the nhl level but when you're six foot seven and the incredible hawk of a hockey player he also seems like he's good at developing into that shutdown defenseman it seemed like it was more they picked the bread and butter logan cooley and then picked two reaches in connor geeky and Maverick Lamareu, and uh, I don't mind either of the picks. I just think they need to have make sure one pans out in Maverick um, as the defenseman that's just a big stalwart defenseman that's really a good shutdown defenseman, because I think that's what he could be, a top four shutdown defenseman, or he's just going to be a good, solid, Alexiak guy who shouldn't have really picked in the first round. And then is Geeky going to be able to develop the skating enough to be a very good top six, or is he just going to be a third-line player that's a good player, but a guy that you probably also shouldn't pick in the first round? Logan Cooley, I think, is going to be a stud. Uh, so they got an absolute beast there. And then when it comes to Duda, Lutz, and Langlos, I think all of those guys have a good chance on their day. Two picks as well. Morden has a bit potential, and then Miko Matika has a little bit of potential as well. Uh, Zuber and Zinka, I don't really know anything about so I'm not going to comment on them but I would have to say their overall draft because they were able to pick Duda they were able to pick Luntz they were able to pick Langlos all those guys have good developing potential uh, so does Matika <clears throat> and then Morden I don't know a lot about him from from a lot of stuff I read about him from experts they seem high on him so it seems like a good day to pick I would have to give their overall draft an A- minus to an A because you got Logan Cooley, you got your man. I like Connor Geeky and Maverick Lomareu. It's just reach picks from where the position of where they pick them. So they're going to have to really pin out, have one of those two really pin out for that to really hit for them. But I do really like their day two with Duda, Lutz, Amatika, Langlos, and Morden. So Langlos is in some people's top freaking 100s, and they got him in day two. So I think they picked really well. I think Armstrong took some risks. I think Geeky's going to fit in well to their roster. It's just, was he worth a first-round pick? I honestly think ML Lamareu might have a better chance to be worth the first-round pick because I think he has a chance to be a great stalwart shutdown defenseman. And people don't value those guys enough, in my own opinion. So I'm kind of happy one did get picked in the first round. He said, everybody stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Up above, it leaves you to keep the channel growing to the goal of 300 or more.